Hi, it's Rika, here to do another Storytime episode, where I tell bizarre stories from my childhood. And this time we go back to 7th grade. It's begin December, where we in parts of Europe celebrate St. Nicholas Day. It's in every way similar to Santa Claus, and that's because this is where the whole tradition of the iconically American Santa Claus came from. It came from right here in Europe. So, you're welcome. Anyway, during this period, usually December 6th, St. Nick's birthday, the good holy man visits schools, campuses, at home, in certain shops, etc. It's a very exciting and memorable time for children, therefore it's usually very wholesome and kid-friendly. But not for older kids. In my high school, St. Nick and his helpers, the Pite, which I'm not gonna get too far into, his helpers are basically white dudes who climb into chimneys and therefore are often black from the soot. Their depiction has changed with the times, however, because, well, yeah. They were played by 12th graders, of course going completely mayhem, like the Pita often do. They are energetic and mischievous. The visit of the holy man and his helpers was completely random, so you could expect them to come in at any time. At the time we were all paying close attention to French class, when suddenly the door gets knocked on like there is a fucking SWAT team dropping in. Which is a signature pizza move, of course. A drop kicked the door open, breaking the doorknob in the process and having it slide across the floor. One of the pizza, who ominously was carrying duct tape, picks it up and hastily tapes it to the door. Very badly, mind you. After this, they grab small hard sugar cookies out of their bag and start throwing it around with the precision and velocity of a sniper rifle, hitting kids in the face and even making permanent dents in the desk. Like, this candy is dangerous. They invade the kids' personal space to put candy fucking everywhere, in their hoodies, pockets, backpack and even their mouth. After this, St. Nick picks a couple of students to talk about and make fun of. He opens his book and addresses some students' bad grades. Until they come to one girl, who surprisingly was not me, and scold her for talking and gossiping too much. The whole class laughs, but then one of the pita pulls out the duct tape again and says, I have a solution for that, comes up to her and fucking duct tapes her mouth shut. Of course she wanted to take it off immediately, but he tells her that she has to keep it on for the rest of the day. A while later they leave and French class continues, again with her mouth still taped shut. After like 10 whole minutes, the teacher says while laughing that she can take the tape off. And she quickly does, everyone laughs. Now that I look back at it, it was kind of a weird thing to do to a 12 year old. But hey, what can I say? Belgians are just built different. Thank you so much for listening to this video and watching my stuff. Please let me know if you like this and if you want me to make more of these, because I got plenty of weird stories.